My name is Emily Spot. I am 23 years old and I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I got into skateboarding probably two or three years ago. Yeah, just always being at the skate park. I always was watching it. It looked fun. I wanted to try it. And I can't really do anything on it still to this day, but it's just fun. I really like the community. In 2020, I developed this lump on my chest and I had no idea what it was. I thought it was from getting like punctured. I did get hit by someone's elbow. But I went to Emerge in June 2020 and I saw a doctor there, did x-rays and everything. It came out as just, he just said it was probably a punctured sternum. No cracks or anything in the bone, but just said it was probably just so swollen and sore. Um, so I believe that. I. I was hanging out at the skate park, had a few friends teaching me how to do some new tricks. I think I was trying to kick turn, like on the ramp. I don't know the technical terms for that, but um, yeah, I went up a ramp. I slapped down on the cement, both hands. Um, I ended up breaking my scaphoid, my wrist. And that led to me seeing an orthopedic bone surgeon. Saw the orthopedic bone surgeon and I mentioned my bone on my sternum. I was like, this is weird. It's been here for a while. It's not getting any smaller. I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, it was spread to my sternum bone inside, growing in my bone, ripping apart my bone. That's why I was feeling so much pain. It was on top of my sternum bone. It was like a 9.7 centimeter mass. Also in my armpits and in my neck. My family was really, really there for me. Um, I lost touch with a few friends. I think it was hard for them to see me going through that and uh, lost touch, even just like romantic like partners and stuff, you know, no one but he really wanted to date a bald cancer girl. So that was really hard too. But, you know, my family and my closest friends to me were really um, good. Also the community was really, really good to me. I remember like nine times giving me a little gift bag, some like stickers and a free shirt, um, like hometown diner, a few like cafes around the city would give me free meals when they heard my story. Um, I talked about it a lot. I think that was also a part of the healing process, which was good. I was very open about it. And it was fun to see people's faces when they were like so shocked. Like, what, are you have cancer? But yeah, it became normal to me. I overcame cancer by doing 12 rounds of chemotherapy. Um, it was called AB, ABVG chemotherapy, I think. Um, yeah, 12 rounds of that during COVID. So I had to isolate. Um, my grandpa was nice enough to let me live with him for the eight months. It was probably eight or nine months of that, but yeah, it was very traumatizing, um, especially with COVID-19 being around so I couldn't go like hang out with my friends, I couldn't see anybody. Um, really hard to watch everyone live their life when I couldn't, but the one thing that really pushed me through it was art. I found getting a lot of my emotions, bad emotions through paper really helped me. So created a lot of cool things through my sadness and yeah, it kept me going. After eight months of chemotherapy, I finally, I didn't get to ring the bell because it was COVID, but um, I was clear of everything. I didn't have to do any radiation at all. Uh, it felt amazing. I did have to recover though, my immune system. I did not have an immune system at all. So that was about 
probably three or four months of recovering, just still staying at home and with my cousins, kind of hanging out. But yeah, um, the summer of 2021, that was a really good summer. That was when I was free. My body started getting back to normal. Um, I was growing my hair back. I decided in August that it was time to move to Victoria, so I finally got to fulfill that dream. Life is very, very short, so do whatever you want. Um, start worrying about stupid things and just live life. Who cares what people say? Who cares what you run into? Um, there's nothing too hard you can't get through. Yeah, life is, life is so precious. My parents absolutely uh, hated that I skateboarded, especially me because I always say you can't afford to break your arm or break your leg and um, miss work or what are you going to do about that? So I remember breaking my arm and they were so upset with me, just like, why did you do that? But um, after leading to my cancer diagnosis, they're just like, thank God for skateboarding. So who's to say you are a Just going 